We start this uh, evening at Korea's top office. President Park Geun-hye has resumed her official schedule and vowed to carry on with state affairs as normally as possible, despite the sprawling power abuse scandal linked to her confidant, Choi soon shi With more on the president's plans in the coming days and weeks, Song ji sun reports. President Park is back to the business of presiding over state affairs, despite the scandal that's roiling her administration and the country. Eight days after a summit with the president of Kazakhstan, President Park made her first official appearance Friday afternoon, demonstrating that her place in the top office is still intact. President Park conferred appointment letters on to new government officials, including her chief of staff, new vice ministers, and new ambassadors to be sent overseas. The Korean leader is also expected to chair a cabinet meeting next Tuesday for the first time in over a month, as Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-won, who has been acting as chair, is in Peru for the APEC summit. At the regular gathering, President Park will likely devote more time to listening to the cabinet members, as she has done over the past weeks through communication with her chief aides at the top office. The president's spokesperson also reaffirmed that she will attend a trilateral summit scheduled for next month in Tokyo with her Japanese and Chinese counterparts. President Bach's approval rating, meanwhile, remained at 5 percent in Gallup's weekly poll. With another massive protest scheduled for this Saturday after three weekends of demonstrations calling for the president's resignation, the top office said it will keep a close eye on the situation and will be on standby, as it has been on previous occasions. President Park is, as promised, preparing for investigations by prosecutors and an independent counsel into scandals surrounding her confidant, while also taking steps to resume her responsibilities over both domestic and foreign affairs. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.